Hello friends, so in this video I will demonstrate how a relay works and uh, it just works as a switch which uh, uh, connects a uh, circuit or uh, disconnects uh, the circuit from uh, a closed circuit to an open circuit so this is the relay how it looks like this is the uh, smallest uh, switch which is uh, available, available at uh, different ratings so it can control a 7 ampere uh, signal or 2 volt volt AC signals and uh, it can be driven with a 24 volt DC supply and uh, this relay can be driven with a uh, 12 volt DC supply so there are variety types of uh, relay circuits are available in the market you can get it from an robotic uh, shop to drive the motors uh, this is the uh, board simply you can uh, pass the signal here and uh, uh, here is the um, sig signal which need to be provided to the motor so uh, there is another kind of relay also available uh, so this relay can drive up to 30 amperes of current so you so 30 amperes of current can be uh, driven with this relays so in our project we have used this kind of relay but it is an uh, 4 channel uh, relay board but we have used an 8 channel relay board so as you can see uh, this is the chip which is used to drive this relays and uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, different relays has different uh, driving uh, voltage uh, DC voltage but uh, these relays can be driven uh, with any voltage uh, ranging from 3.3 volt to 12 volt so this uh, is possible only because of this uh, chip so you just need to connect a 12 volt source uh, VCC source and uh, ground connection and just need to connect and just need to connect the signal pins over uh, these four pins so what are these points actually so you can connect the AC uh, signal so one of the pin is normally connected and the middle pin is a common pin and the third pin is normally open pin so we will uh, most of time we use normally open pin uh, to uh, switch on a circuit or switch on any uh, device so let's get started about how a relay works so uh, now i will demonstrate uh, how a simple relay works so i have connected uh, in this way uh, so this uh, the side on which three pins are there these two pins need to be connected to the dc store uh, dc supply so this pins can be connected to your any uh, you know, sur electrical circuit and uh, this middle pin is common pin which uh, connects to an AC supply and uh, from these two pins any one is uh, a normally open or normally connected pin so let's get started how this works so as you can see uh, this is an 12 volt LED so what I have just uh, done is simply uh, connected to an uh, 12 volt source so this is the 12 volt supply source uh, so this is the plug uh, so we have connected and uh, switch in series with the circuit so when you press it down it will uh, complete the circuit and uh, when you press it again it will switch off uh, the LED so uh, I am connecting this uh, pin to the supply so this is the LED here and this is the two source DC source 12 volt source so when I press this button it simply switches on the LED and when it uh, switch again it will switch off so what we will do is simply replace this button with an electrical uh, circuit board so to control it uh, through an Arduino board or any electrical uh, circuit, uh, we just need an relay. Relay. So what we will do is simply remove 
uh, this switch and replace with uh, a relay. So what I just uh, demonstrated is uh, a 12 volt source is uh, there. You can uh, choose a uh, 220 volt AC supply also. Uh, so here is uh, uh, let's uh, take it as an AC source. In this case, we are using a 12 volt source and 12 volt LED. So, if you have a 220 volt AC supply, and uh, here is your bulb. In this case, uh, we have used a LED uh, strip small LED bulb and this is our push button so which switches on the bulb completes the circuit so when you uh, switch on this switch the current is flown through this circuit and the circuit is completed and the bulb glows So what we'll do is simply uh, remove this switch and replace it with a relay board. So let me draw it once again. This is the 20 volt AC supply. Here is our LED bulb. What we will do is now connect it to the relay So this is the back portion of a relay So uh, let me make it here. So as for this diagram, this is the DC supply and this is a common pin and this is a normally open and no pin, normally open pin. This pin is normally connected pin which is connected without any supply. So when you switch on, uh, when you provide, so here is your coil part, when you provide an voltage, DC voltage it may be uh, 5 to 6 voltage for a lower standard of relay and it will simply uh, jump from NC position to NO position so this circuit will be connected and normally connected portion will be removed so this path can be connected to any circuit to uh, switch on uh, the appliance so what we will do is simply connect a voltage source in this case also So when you uh, sub provide the supply here, you will simply jump from this portion to this portion. And again the circuit is completed, the LED bulb is on. So let's implement this circuit. So as I told you, uh, uh, we have connected this portion this portion in this way so these are the two pins and we have provided an uh, USB to power uh, to switch on the relay and uh, we are using a power bank to switch on this portion ok and uh, now we will uh, replace 
this switch which I demonstrated earlier so this was the manual switch to switch on so what we'll do is simply remove this switch okay so these two wires are these two wires as per the circuits I need two more jumper wires to connect to the circuit. What we have inserted just now is this wire from the LED from the LED to the relay this wire and uh, another wire is this wire which is normally open so this wire this wire is need to be connected to the common pin so the middle pin is the common pin of a relay okay and the normally open pin may be any one of the relay so first of all we will uh, check it with uh, this pin okay so this one is normally connected pin so we will use this one so this one is our normally open pin okay so let me cross check it once again so LED power supply from the LED is here here and uh, another terminal from the LED to the relay another terminal from the relay to the common pin then from the normally open pin to the 220 supply so this is another terminal to the 220 supply so our 220 supply is completely isolated from the circuit so uh, now we will supply a 5 volt sup uh, supply 5 volt source to this DC coil as you can see this is the DC coil uh, we will energize this coil with the help of a DC source so in this case we are using a power bank so we have switched it on and uh, okay so when we connect it to this 5 volt supply it switches on this circuit from normally connected to, uh, position to normally open position and the circuit is completed and this LED bulb is on so when we remove it once again we can switch it off so this is how it works so uh, in this case we have used this power bank as a DC supply uh, you can use a Arduino, Uno or Mega or ESP to switch any circuit to uh, switch on a high voltage and high current uh, appliances so same way uh, as I mentioned this let me switch it out So same way this uh, relay board also works. So these three pins are present here. So this pin is 
normally connected pin and this pin is common pin and this pin is normally open pin so you can connect as per this circuit this portion so it's a very easy implementation with the help of uh, this uh, 4 channel and 8 channel relay boards so you can uh, easily implement in your project so that's all about the tutorial about the uh, connecting the relay board into your project so if you really like the video and please do hit like button and if you have any doubts or suggestions related to the tutorial please do comment in the comment section below and if you haven't uh, subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for latest update about this kind of thing and i will be uploading few more videos uh, related to implementation of this kind of relay in day to day project so till then Stay creative and be know it is guys. Thanks for watching the video. I'm in love with the cocoa.